This video will go through how to do a proper DNA-DNA hybridization procedure using the PEG hydrogel microparticles. To begin with, divide the microparticle into five aliquots, remembering to label them. In this procedure, we will be using concentrations of 10 nanomolar, 100 nanomolar, 1000 nanomolar, and 2000 nanomolar. The volume of each sample should be 100 microliters. Make sure that you make the solution accordingly. Remember, PEG is light sensitive, so keep it covered at all times unless you are currently working with the sample. Next, add the four fluorescence labeled target DNA solutions into each microparticle tube. Remembering to keep the samples covered, incubate the samples on a rotator for 20 minutes at room temperature. Next, using 5x SSC, a standard sodium citrate buffer, wash the microparticle solutions three times. This removes unbound DNA. Remove the supernatant by centrifuging in between washings, being sure to lose as few microparticles as possible. Wash some glass slides and attach some PDMS wells to each one. Wash the PDMS wells using the SSC buffer and then add 50 microliters of SSC buffer to each well. Add 20 microliters of a sample to each well and then cover the samples with a cover slip. The samples can then be inspected using bright field and fluorescence microscopy with the Olympus BX51 microscope. Using standard green filter set UN31001 and the DP10 microscope digital camera, the following images were all taken. Notice that the 10 nanomolar sample did not fluoresce well, while the 2000 nanomolar sample fluoresced very strongly. Similar results should be seen with your data. These images can then be edited with ImageJ software as desired.